Hey you guys and hey Saria, it is William calling from Movie Vlogs and I am so excited to react to Laureen's tattoo. She of course won Heat 4 of Melody Festival in 2023 and is now a huge favorite, well the huge favorite to win in Sweden, a huge favorite, the huge favorite to win Eurovision 2023 in Liverpool. I haven't had a chance to react to this yet and I have been dying. Dab on! Hey, William. Should we watch and react? Let's do this! All right, this is beyond exciting. And as you are all aware, Lorene's first attempt to perform this was marred by a stage invader. That's incredibly terrifying, yet she managed to get back on that stage, give it another go, True queen. True queen. All right. Hitting play. She is back, y'all. Oh, oh my wow. god. Wow. Our girl wow. is in her LED hamburger. <laughs> and the this meat opening. is looking delicious. All the feels. Oh my god. You're instantly hooked. It's so intimate. No audience. Wow, body. Just the woman and her soul, her feelings. Undeniably Lorraine. She's got such a Touching the sky. expression. Oh my god. Yeah. Wow. She's alone, alone in the universe. And all she thinks about is her love of this person, oh, this, this higher phenomenal. power, whatever. Strong nail game. Oh, it's building. I love this. Oh my God, the movement. Oh, and do you hear that subtle production change? It's picked up. The dynamism we talk about. This verse feels so much different than the earlier verses. Oh my god. When those stars align, I will be there. She squats, she rises. It's like she's in heaven oh, or in Doom. That movie Doom. LED screens are everything. It's simple, but it's so incredible. powerful and it's super effective. It's like a movie. Oh, breathy vocals. On fire. Zendaya is shook. This is a bridge and a half, but the choreo is so This is thoughtful. a bridge and a half. The way the art fits the rhythm of that twirl. Oh God, I need the remix. It's so emotional actually. Nodding to Euphoria, just a nod. Bloody hell. And this is how you come back. Oh, the relief. Congratulations. My God. That was quite, I mean, that, that. Wow. Look, that's a Eurovision winner. Let's, let's just be real. That is a potential Eurovision winner. This is how you come back. You come back with a statement. It's 
To me, this is quintessential Lorene. Yes, we know her from Euphoria, more of a pop song, but since then she's really focused on her art, this new phase of her life. She told me this in an interview last year in Torino, how she was entering this new phase of her music career, the new her, the more honest her, and you get that sentiment here. She's taken sort of the pop of Euphoria, but mixed it with the artistry, the high-end concept of statements, and given us something it works between them, right? It's not as off-putting as statements, which turned a lot of people off, but it's not... Euphoria is not disposable. What I mean is it's not as poppy as Euphoria, and it's given us something that melds those worlds, high-end and mainstream, and it's just beautiful. I can hum it instantly. Dun, 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 dun. It looks expensive. This is all about separating Lorene from the audience, just as she did with Euphoria. <clears throat> you do not see the people. You hear them shouting, yes, but this is all about her being in her own visual and sonic landscape. That landscape is so mysterious. It's so interesting. At times the sky looks like the heavens. At times you might think she's in a sand dune. At times you might think she's searching for Timothée Chalamet in the movie Dune. It's just so cinematic, and I love that. I love the bridge when everything kind of goes black and that whoosh. Um, scene change. Uh, I love how you have the ancient symbols written above that appear um, in the latter half and how they twirl in rhythm with the sound effect in the background. Every detail, every single detail, from the long nails to the way she touches her thigh, touching all of that skin in the beginning, to the way she pushes up the LED sky, it's just so thoughtful and creates a sense of dynamism throughout, so you want to keep watching just like a good movie. Let me just start by saying this. Tattoo has shot to number one in less than 48 hours in Sweden smashing all streaming records. Again, Euphoria 2.0. This is how you do it. I've got to compare this to Statements, right? Statements, obviously, is a masterpiece. Where statements go, <laughs> this is just a lot more mainstream. This has got that radio push. Statements was a visual masterpiece. This does both. This is music for your ears and this is something to just behold and watch and be transfixed by. And also I think the fandom now realise that it's not just liking an entry, it's also picking up the phone to vote for an entry and seeing that entry right into Eurovision. If this wins Melody Festival, and I kid you not, Sweden is coming top three. Based on what we've got coming so far, actually, do you know what? I don't even want to reduce the glory of Tattoo by comparing it to what is coming through, so, you know, this year. In any given year, this will finish in the top five. Let's just salute that. Let's just salute that. This is excellent. Whilst Laureen undeniably sells this, we must credit those who actually wrote the song. Thomas Jeeson, Peter Bostrom, she's worked with these two people before and they were responsible for composing Euphoria. And Jimmy Joker Tomfeld, who has, I, I mean, <laughs> His catalogue of successful entries, as well as pop songs, is limitless. Uh, and you know, th th this is great. I want to read the lyrics to this song because Loreen is all about meaning. She's all about storytelling. The first verse goes, I don't want to go, but baby, we both know this is not our time. It's time to say goodbye until we meet again, because this is not the end. It will come a day when we will find our way. Violins playing and the angels crying. When the stars align, then I'll be there. No, I don't care about them all, because all I want is to be loved. And all I care about is you. You're stuck on me like a tattoo. No, I I don't care about the pain. I'll walk through fire and through rain just to get closer to you. You're stuck on me like a tattoo. 
To me, this sounds like right person, wrong timing. This is a common theme everyone experiences in their life, where perhaps you meet someone out of the blue and you're blown away, but like circumstances dictate, this ain't gonna happen. And that seems to be what's happening with Loreen here. She's fallen deep and fallen hard, but for whatever reason, it's just not practical. But she says she's gonna wait, you know, those angels in the heavens are crying because this can't happen right now. But you never know what's going to happen. So maybe when the stars align, it will happen and Apple Girl Loreen is going to be there. Interestingly, the line, I'll walk through fire and through rain just to get closer to you. You're stuck on me like a tattoo. You get the sense of her walking through, you know, fire and rain through those travails. I mean, at the beginning, she's in this digital hamburger and she's got to wait for the opening and she's using her power to force that sky up. And then later, you see her isolated and alone and battling the elements, but in a really high concept way. It's not like some countries who would just put rain on the screen. They're like, oh girl, I'm wet. Oh my God, I'm wet. No, this is much darker and deeper. Um, and it shows how deep her love is if she's willing to go through all of that to get to you. There is something mysterious about Tattoo, but at the same time, really, really powerful and so visually arresting. The staging is completely out of this world. It's, you know, I've been following Eurovision very passionately since, 2000 so what that's 23 years of coverage this staging is so simple there's nothing complicated about it at least not to the viewer right but it's never been done before i've never seen it and i'm completely blown away by it laureen's body has never been in better shape and her movement you know this is again combining that kabuki realness with oh my god laureen is just a class act and whilst I was deeply against her return, I'm happy she's back. I just want her to think it through. Laureen. Girl. You're my queen. But please. Don't do Melody Festival again. Don't listen to him. And just to point out, I was against it because she's my goddess. I don't want a Statements 2.0. I don't want, because I felt Statements should have actually moved forward. Can I just point that out? It should have moved forward. I mean, not even getting into the final of Melody Festival. Are you kidding me? But I also know that sometimes, you know, music competitions particularly can be a gamble. And I'm like, oh, you know, she's already, she's already winning. Like, Euphoria is still winning. <laughs> There's nowhere I go. I still don't hear that song. Like, so why come back? She has come back and she's come to slay. She's come to snatch a few wigs and I am totally living for it. Oftentimes when you hear songs, you kind of imagine how it should be staged. You know, sometimes, well, for me anyway, when I listen to some songs, particularly when I'm doing a first reaction, I've got in my head the visual treatment that I feel goes with that song, right? You know, the scenery, the vibe, even the color scheme. The tones, the um, even wardrobe. Tattoo has exceeded everything that my head could have come up with. In fact, when I was watching it, all of that was suspended because this was already elevated. From the opening sequence where the LEDs just do that 360 turn, I mean, she takes things to another level. But of course, you know, this is not just bow down Queen Laureen. There are points where she can improve on. It was a bit shouty in parts. And Laureen has a real problem with enunciation. You really have to understand her style of singing to be able to pick out the lyrics. It's not a problem for me because her style of singing still has melody. So it's not like poor pronunciation. It's just the... You know, it's just not, there's very little clarification. It's more melody music. And you know, it's a style of singing that actually works in the studio. I'm not against it. And there's something really organic here as well. You know, the, the color scheme is very earthy, earthy tones. The LEDs in which she's sandwiched in between has that, well, it feels like earth, like sand. And the burst of thunder lines from above it, it's just, and I also like the way that it gradually elevates, giving her room to kind of 
do her thing. Her movement is just, who is the choreographer? I mean, because this is beyond pop. This is contemporary dance. This is actually, you know when Mel C takes a hiatus from the Spice Girls? Actually, what am I talking about? She's an established solo artist with a career of what, at least six albums. But anyway, when she parks all that to one side and then teams up with choreographers to to dance at Sadler's Wells and she has this glor glorified return to the stage, but as a dancer, Laureen should consider that at some point in her career because her movement is just, well, I could watch her all day, every day. And she really does elevate this again into performance art. One of my favorite articles I've ever written for Woody Blogs was about why Euphoria should win Melody Festival in at Laureen. I'm tempted to pen why Tattoo is just light years ahead, a cut, a comfortable cut above the rest, which by the way is very difficult because Melody Festival is and has consistently been one of the best national selections for Eurovision. So to be the best for, in that is really, really tough. You know, the lighting designers are on point. The cinematography here is just fire. And the song, can I just say, the song is really, really good. It is not my favorite Laureen song. I have songs that I prefer over this. I love, for instance, like 71 Charger is my favorite Laureen song of all time. I also love I'm In It With You. I love Neon Lights. They're just songs that I prefer to tattoo, but as a complete package, this is a moment. Let me tell you a story. When I met Loreen in May 2022 in Torino, my brother had died two months before. And after the camera went off, she and I were talking and I was like, oh my gosh, you know, I listened to some of your songs during this horrible period in the past few weeks. And we, we had a very deep conversation about signs and spirituality. But what really struck me was Lorene's power to sort of sense what you were feeling. It was like she felt the aura around the person and had worked it out. And her line of questioning, we eventually landed on the fact, fact that I had heard my dead brother talking to me. And I said, Lorene, I didn't know if I was like losing my mind, if I was going crazy. And she told me something which I thought was so wise, so insightful. She said, baby, if you heard it, then it was real. If you heard it, then it was real. Because what she's saying is you had a moment, you had an experience, and now you need to dissect what that meant. Regardless of whether anybody else heard it, regardless of whether it was just between my ears or if it was a sound coming from somewhere else, she believed in my experience and she wanted me to sort of explore that. Because she's an artist, she's a feeler, she's a healer, she's a thinker. And I just remember leaving that hotel, me and Sanan were there together, feeling so invigorated because I had been touched by the greatness. I had been touched by Loreen Talhawi. Should this win Melody Festival in? Absolutely. This is a song with both pop cred and deep substance. This is not throwaway. This is not of the moment. This is timeless. To the end of time. This is timeless. And if Sweden wants to win Eurovision, and you know they love winning Eurovision, then this is the song. All right, that's what we think. What do you think? Is Loreen the rightful favorite to win Melody Festival? And how do you think this would do at Eurovision? Let us know here on Wee Wee Blogs. Is there a mood board for Loreen on Pinterest? Guys, we need to set one up. And while you're at it, follow Wee Wee Blogs on Pinterest and we will see you later. Bye. Bye.